Hello friends, this is Sengoku Jedi bringing you some more 60 seconds reatomized. Uh, we've got, uh, what's this I hear? Oh, got a plane up here. Interesting. Uh, we've got a little half-built tank here. So, we've gotten our two endings so far. We've gotten our uh, military ending, and we got the twins ending. So, uh, what I'd like to do this time is I'm going to try and uh, get Mary Jane, uh, get her all mutant out, you know, and uh, potentially get another ending. I know there's some other ones. Uh, I don't know how to get them. Pretty sure that scientist, though, that's one of the ones. Okay, what do we got there? Got the radio. Oh, the radio. Yeah, let's grab that. I don't know that I actually need it for the non-military endings, but... Missing the gas mask, that's what the uh, gas mask and the map are the only two things I really, uh, really, really wanted to get that I didn't get. Hopefully we have some supplies. Okay, lots of soup, I'm liking that. We got a free gas mask, got a free axe, and checkers and harmonica. And the map, jeez. Lucked out. Okay, all of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one as long as we're all together. We can make it work down here. Remember, eat your soup. Wow. We got real lucky here, so. Yeah. Uh, plenty of water. We are good. So we can actually go out scouting pretty early because we have the gas mask. I'd be wary of bandits though, our last couple runs have been very fortunate because of that. We stopped arguing, but for how long? Yeah, everyone's good. Yeah, you're all happy. I hope so, it's day two, so. Let's, let's wait on a little bit. The boredom and silence are overwhelming. Too bad we don't have a TV to keep us occupied. Maybe we could take advantage of some of our supplies. Pretend. Sure, I want the suitcase, so I'm not having you destroy that. Let's see here. Uh, Ted and Mary Jane used to be big cinema buffs before the apocalypse, so they instantly jumped on this idea. Mary Jane is always complaining. Singing in the rain lacks action, so they took the axe and improvised an extra scene. Very bloody. They insist the movie would have been way better if it had more axes in it. I mean, everything's made better by axes. Yeah, I know you're thirsty. You got, uh, you got another day. Let's put it off. Uh, one of the cupboards in the shelter was a bit shaky, so we pulled it out to give it, give it a new home. In the process, we discovered a secret door. Where does it lead? No idea. Let's poke around with the gun. Oh dear. Okay, I'm not noticing anybody in a sling. The first thing to do when you open a door leading into a place you don't know. Open fire. Bam, bam. Our bullets struck the walls, and guess what? We had a water pipe. Uh, we were able to feed a few water bottles with all the water that trickled from the bullet holes. Oh, 
Oh. Well, that's fortunate. Good stuff, good stuff. That is a great idea to have some role-playing fun and create our own shelter theater, theater group. We called it the Thunderdome. We spent the rest of the day trying to write a script for our performance. We almost got into a fight over it and decided that maybe it would be blessed to play something simpler. I'm forced to agree. Oh, don't know why that popped up. Okay, okay, let's see what we got here. We played hide and seek. The longest round we were able to play lasted for 10 seconds, and that was only because the lights went out for a moment. Cool, good stuff. I'm gonna wait on the food. I always rush the food the first five days. I think you can wait until like date 10, I wanna say. But uh, yeah. It's tough surviving in these conditions. Let's hope uh, this will be over soon, or else we may end up dead in some wasteland ditch. It's not something we're looking forward to. It shouldn't be. Who's a knocking? So I know with the if we get the cat, then that's an ending. I know it, it must be. Same with pancake. I assume he must be an ending. Uh, it's easy to feel a bit down when we're living underground like this. No sunshine, no sky. We need to get rid of that pessimism and try and bring some cheerfulness into our lives. Um, 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 that seems good. You're a little hungry. You're good. You're good. There's nothing so, no, uh, more surprising than a knock on a fallout sheltered door. Who could it be? Should we investigate? Uh, yeah, let's let's investigate. Great. Now Ted's sick. Turned out it was a nice, mysterious fellow in a weird suit. He gave us some soup cans. This will help us survive in the next couple of days. Hoping that hatch was a bit risky. It seems it gave us. Some awful sickness. Hmm. Great. Great, great, great. Oh, do I want to use the health kit this early? Let's wait on that. Let's wait. If there's one person we truly miss, it's our great uncle Terry. He used to tell brilliant stories about turtles, elephants, and wizards. It would be so reassuring to hear one of those stories again, and yet, we don't even have a photo of him. Just memories. Just don't destroy it. Good stuff, good stuff. Bingo! Our scout ha uh, handbook holds more than a ton of knowledge useful in times of apocalypse. There are some uh, photos stuck in between the pages along with some crosswords. We are saved! Only a few of them are salt. Okay, day eight. They need water. So I think the plan is I'm gonna wait till day ten. I'm gonna give them all food, and then once they're fed, I will send Timmy. Uh, we can keep sitting on our backsides in here in this tiny little bunker, or we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought the Reds would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? We could do it on our own. The escaping part, not the ruining part, of course. However, there might be something out there that can help us. Sure, why not? Okay, we made contact with the military. Don't care, we are not doing that ending. Okay, now you're all starving. So, food. And I'm gonna give Timmy s no. I was supposed to make a the one for tomorrow. That's right, I was gonna do it tomorrow. Okay, so I'm gonna give food today. Plan the trip for tomorrow. Uh, it's high time we stop wondering what's going on and start asking questions, or at least just some reasonable answers. Um, no, don't mess with the radio. Leave it alone.
Ignorance is bliss. Another day without any clue what might be going on might not necessarily kill us. Okay, rationing supplies. I just fed you. Just fed you. I'm gonna give Timmy a little bit of both. I'm gonna send them out. Uh, I don't have. I think there's it's still kind of. I normally give them the suitcase, but I'm gonna give them the gas mask this time. Maybe we can build more of our tank uh, in this run. Let us see. Uh, Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Okay. to eat. I just just fed you. Well, I'll give you some more food. Feels like a waste. Okay, so this is the spiders. So we're gonna leave the spiders. Hopefully that doesn't kill us, but like once again, I've never had I know Mary Jean can turn into Purple Hulk, and I really want it. We decided we could get rid of the spiders with their bare hands, feet, and whatever. Other body parts we could use for lethal anti-spider attacks. Unfortunately, we underestimated their chances. They're really fast. All we achieved was getting tired. No luck there. No luck there, unfortunately. Give you some water. Mutant rodents are attacking our supplies. We're not sure if they're rats, feral bunnies, or just mutated hamsters. All these options are pretty grim. Could you spare ammunition or anything else to get rid of any? Uh, let's let's axe them. Let's axe them. Okay, everything still seemed to work. Our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still at the top of the food chain. Good stuff, good stuff. You guys suck, like... I feed ya. Uh, every new smell attacks our noses in this uh, little shelter instantly. There isn't much we can miss. So in a single brick out from the wall revealing a tight opening, our senses were immediately invaded by a terrible stench. Yes. It is the dead rat with some food, I believe. Looking rough there, Ted. Yeah, it is the rat with the food. Something should be done. Yeah, well, I don't have to say, buddy. Not wasting my first tank kit unless it's, it's dire. Uh, during the night, we heard some suspicious sounds coming from behind our door. When we peeked out in the morning, we saw a leather suitcase. It had no address or name on it. that's not the, the one with the where it makes all of us sick can you just make Ted more sick that'd be nice I would gladly accept this sun gift and despite our suspicions it turned out to just be a regular tomato soup that we all know and love thank you kind stranger okay uh, you're all thirsty you're all hungry that's okay we had thought phone calls were a thing of the past uh, after the atomic bomb obliterated everything in our little town. However, a phone booth on our street survived the bombing somehow. Uh, Mary Jane, you can go. That was a new sound. We answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief. It is the uh, Hill Valley crew. So that is the other ending we completed. Okay, you all need some water. And some food? We'll do one of each. We'll do one of each on day keep that on 16. What's that sound? Oh no, something or someone is below us. Um Oh, it's the manhole. Okay, we will use the axe. Probably break it. Oh, it sounds like Timmy's back. He is back. Ooh, he is... Okay, I think... 
Yeah, we'll, we'll heal you him up now. What the hell? We barely made it out alive. It was a giant mutated crocodile, or an alligator, or something else with a giant mouth and plenty of teeth. Is anyone hurt? We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and isn't safe with us now. One of the buildings to withstand the blast turned out to be our local bus station. If any passengers survived, they have long since abandoned the buses, leaving behind hordes of personal belongings. Backpacks, bags, sacks, and one guy even left a cupboard. It was uh, difficult to resist looking into it. Guess what? There was another, smaller cupboard inside. Our local athletics team was preparing to depart for a championship taking place somewhere in the boondocks. Their bus was full of refreshing water and spare shoes. Unfortunately, none of them were a match for us. Uh, so we just took all the water bottles. Ah, gas mask. Damn. Okay, vehicle down the street. Yeah, that's the one. Ted was hurt. Okay. We'll use it on Ted. Because he's both... I hope it will kill both his sickness and his hurt. A nice twofer. That would be delightful. don't know the... I don't know the status. I should have checked the radio. Hmm. Should have found out. Oh, huh. Ted. Oh, it worked. Ted is back to perfect. The signal has to wait. Besides, do we even know how much flashlight batteries cost? Especially in this economy. Especially after it was wiped out. Perfect. So the two fur worked on Ted. So hungry, 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 hungry. You're starving, so. Do we want to risk sending? Let's let's plan for it. We decided to peek out for just a minute to see if the store around the corner was still standing. When we were about to step out, we heard a growl in the darkness and a pair of. Uh, I don't. Don't want to shoot pancake. So <laughs> I will do nothing instead of something. Felt was too risky to face whatever horror weighed in the shadows, so we did what any sane person would do, and we shut the door. Creature was gone the next morning. Okay, you are all thirsty. Timmy is dehydrated though. Okay, Mary Jean, you're going with suitcase. Oh, I didn't. Should have given her food. I'm thinking, uh, I'm not thinking so much here. I'm not smart. Let's give food to everyone. And then we'll get water to you too. Alarm, there's a group of people outside and they don't seem too friendly. We recognize some of them. They used to be our neighborhood watch. They don't sound too concerned with the well-being of the neighborhood anymore. But they are very serious about angrily waving their heavy flashlights. Uh, we need to do something before they break in and take everything we have. Um, 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 um. Let's use the gun. Not surprising that a few shots were enough to send those cowards running. The question is, what happens if the rifle malfunctions or we use all of our ammo? I hope it doesn't come to that. Otherwise, we might need to defend ourselves using knives and forks. Oh damn it, we spoke too soon. We think the gun is broken. What do we do? Nothing. We do nothing. Sometimes a sudden urge to play an instrument takes over us. To create beautiful sounds to be shared with the world around us. To sing and play and have cute mutated animals come to our feet to listen. Like a post-apocalyptic Snow White. Shall we? Yes, you shall. Oh, and Mary Jane is not here to enjoy my cockroach friends. 
Be careful what you wish for. After a few minutes of our play, a small group of mutated cockroaches jumped out of the cracks in our walls and started moving to the rhythm of the song. They ran around in circles and shook their little antenna. It would be adorable if they weren't so disgusting. Hungry and thirsty, hungry, 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 hungry. Uh, funky roaches uh, haven't really left us. To be fair, they aren't causing that much trouble. They just seem to be relatively friendly and curious. Just this morning when we opened our eyes, we saw them standing in perfect line right in front of us, as if they're waiting for something. I got you, cockroaches. Who's a knockin'? If you can't beat them, join them. We figured the roaches are craving more of our music, so we fulfilled their unspoken request. They started joyfully prancing around again, creating fun shapes on the floor. Then, all of a sudden, they left. They all left in one line. We thought the show was over, but they soon came back in a group, carrying supplies on their strong, mutated backs. Insane. Looks like we made some new friends. Disgusting, mutated, radioactive friends. Good stuff. We need some water. give everybody water today a group of people dressed in green pajamas knocked on our hatch it's not something we anticipated yet this is exactly what happened furthermore they insisted they are the merry men and wish to take from the rich and give to the poor we're pretty poor so maybe we can make some new friends should we let them in uh, no We didn't answer those uh, peculiar calls and kept the door locked until the noises outside faded away. We're not exactly sure we want those people to come back. They sounded harmless enough. Can harmless people be trusted in troubled times? They might be worse than those who don't seem harmless at all. Okay. So they need food. Timmy claimed he couldn't sleep last night due to Ted's loud, incessant snoring. Ted angrily retaliated by making quips about the size of Timmy's ears, which enraged Timmy even more. He's desperate for a solution. What can be done about this? Checkers. Solves all problems. Timmy eventually settled for, a jam for jamming checker pieces into his ears. Not what the doctor would order, but it did the trick. He slept well, as though one of the pieces is missing. This morning, it's still stuck in his ear, and more importantly, can we play checkers without it? Mm, probably. They are hungry. Let's give him food for now. Let's stick to the five days. A young lady dressed in white uh, has visited us today, requesting our aid. Wasting no time, she laid out a plan of what she said was a bandit camp where she claims her twin brother is being held. Uh, um, um, uh, we'll challenge the biggest bandit leader to a side fight, and now his sister is very worried. She says we definitely won't regret it if we decide to help her. Is this. Yeah, this is the twin ending. So we're not gonna go. You're on your own. What's up, Mary Jane? Doesn't look like you brought me back anything. We're not risking our lives for some family drama. They got themselves in trouble, they can get themselves out of it. Maybe another time. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the service. Service. Surface. Uh, so she went to the zoo. We got a first aid kit. Awesome. We got a gun. Suitcase is gone. That's unfortunate. Uh, vehicle down the street looked like someone's work in progress. We observed it from afar. Who could the owner be? Distance. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Or 
thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. You're good. Okay. What is their conditions actually? Where are we at? So he's fatigued. She's they're all fatigued. So it's probably not a good idea for a trip. What's that glowing in your pocket, Timmy? Oh no, mutated ants! Their terrifying little mandibles almost gave Dolores a heart attack. She wants them out, but Timmy says it's the beginning of an, ant, an atomic ant farm. Uh, one of them has to have it their way. Timmy. Timmy has it his way. We're keeping the ants. Infect your sister, please. <laughs> Who's allowed to keep his atomic ant farm to the detriment of our supply stash? The little mutant scattered, devoured a whole can of soup, and escaped under the cover of night. We're relieved. They could, they could have eaten us instead. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she's starving. And everyone else is dehydrated. Let's give everyone water. Come on, buddy. Are you still exhausted? Everyone's exhausted. Screw the military. Okay, where's everyone at? He's still... he's fatigued, he's fatigued. Let's plan for a trip tomorrow and hope for the best. Coded note was left on our doorstep. It's all symbols and numbers. Some sort of cipher that needs to be cracked before it can read the letter. Um... Last time it made her fatigued. Hopefully this won't make her crazy by keeping her bored. She seems fatigued regardless, though. <laughs> Dolores tried her best to crack this code in her spare time, but we kept distracting her. She would have probably kept trying, but we somehow managed to lose the note overnight. Dolores seems unreasonably angry about this. Almost like she knew something about this letter that we did not. We tried asking her, but she just kept saying nothing and keeps sulking. Sorry, maybe I should have gone for it. Just last time she couldn't cipher it and she was exhausted. Give you food and water, and then we're sending you out. We're sending you out. <laughs> I don't have anything I want to give them, so. looking trader carrying an equally scruffy bag on his shoulder paid us a visit. Uh, yes. Let's pay the suit price. Get, uh, get our cat. Your cat. I don't have many supplies, though, so... doctors but just in any case we got rid of them quickly before they could start charging us for a home visit a little hungry a little fatigued you're good you would expect the post apocalypse to be a time of peace and quiet since you know most of the people aren't around anymore yet we have someone at the door when we opened it up we encountered a strange looking man in a blue jumpsuit who asked him to trade him a water chip Water chip? What the hell is that? What's our supplies? 
I've never had this one. Let's see what it is. Who knows? The visitor wasn't very happy that we didn't have a water chip or that we didn't know what one was. He did help himself the water we offered to him. I explained the chip is the utmost importance. Before we learned anything more, he left for the wasteland. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. A uh, woman ca uh, came by with a creature she claims is a camel, provided that the camel has five legs. So, so, one water for, mm, four water for radio. Let's do that. That will help us a lot. Because the water is a big deal. The radio, for the sake of this run, probably not. We exchanged the goodness of the trader and she went her way before she left. She insisted that we should listen to the radio broadcast if we ever want to get out of it. Well, we gave you the radio. So, yeah. Jeez. Jeez. Cherikov uh, sure can take care of himself, but we can't help but wonder how much of this self made cat is. Uh, it just so happens that we found an address on its collar. It's unlikely that the owner is still alive, and a trip to the wasteland is always risky. Should we go outside? Yeah. Go check on it. Oh, we gave him back? Ah, oh, damn. That's unfortunate. I didn't mean to give the cat back. I just thought we were looking for the address. Hmm. Well, I think that's one of the endings. So, the only thing we can do now is try and make Mary Jane a freak. No, we're not going to help you. Get out of here. Timmy's back. What's up, Timmy? Got lots of water. No food. Okay, when walking aimlessly amidst the ruins, it's not unusual we're drawn to places we knew and loved. Even though they weren't specifically looking for it, we found ourselves in front of our favorite bowling alley. Desperate times call for desperate measures, and we weren't surprised to see that someone had placed water bottles instead of bowling pins at the end of the lane. We're sorry to ruin their setup, but we really need that water. The staff room is almost intact and nicely decorated. On top of a beautiful rug stood a table with a radio on it. Such a lucky find. We tried dragging the rug with us to decorate our shelter, but it was too heavy. It's a real shame. A rug like that could really tie this room together. Okay, what do we need? Starving. Starving. Get food out. Yeah, we're gonna send Ted out. Our previous expeditions reported a strange vehicle nearby, and the last trip to the surface confirmed its discovery. It's armored and weaponized tank. No wheels, no gas. Just wasting our out right there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if the gun will do anything. No, nope, obviously not. <laughs> Great. Great. Oh yeah, I forgot. I can put hats on them. <laughs> awesome. We stormed the local decoration store, shouting battle cries and shooting wildly, at least until the rifle jammed. We found all the American flags and banners we could ever ask for. The vehicle could lead the 4th of July par uh, parade or something. If it had wheels, that is. So is this thing just strewn with American flags now? 
Great. Great. How's everyone doing? We're gonna send Ted. You're going barehanded again, Ted. You're a Viking now, I trust. Oh, Erikov's back. To our surprise, we found Sherikov back at our shelter this morning. We're not exactly sure why or how it came back. Is this our good care it appreciates, our kind hearts, optimism, or just our stockpile of soup cans? Only time will tell. Ted left for the surface. We hope you will be back soon. Okay, you guys need some water. Curiosity almost killed the cat. Cherikov found a tiny wire sticking out from the ceiling and pulled it out. Plaster and de debris fell on our table, topped off with a big meowing furball. What is this thing, anyone? No one remembers it being there before. The cat might get angry if we take the uh, take away the wire, so maybe it's best to leave it. Should we examine the wire? Uh, yeah. She got, she got real sick. I grabbed the cable and followed it to a rusty old truck parked in our neighborhood neighbor's driveway. Upon opening the door, we were confronted with two men wearing huge headphones who looked extremely surprised to see us. They wiretapped our shelter, uh, shelter when we were asleep, and they were listening to everything we said. We gave them hell and marched back to our shelter. Uh, looks like Sherikov snuck out to hunt them in the wasteland last night. This morning we found a dead, glowing rat on our doorstep. Kirikov seemed pleased with his gift for us, and quickly expressed its disappointment when we threw it far away from our home. Nothing good will probably come from touching dead radioactive rodents though, so maybe we should have just left where we found it. Oh, so she picked it up, touched it, no, yeah, that's why. <sighs> I need food desperately now. Agents who are spying on them. Yeah, let's hear them out. Let's hear them out. They were agents, real, live agents on a government mission. We saw their identity cards, briefly. Uh, they weren't listening in on us. It was the cat they were interested in. They made a request, too. Wanting us to aid with something, uh, with some of their top secret missions in the future. If we do that, they promise they will ex extract us to a government safe house, full of supplies and donuts. Hopefully they come back with more information. Okay. Let's, let's cure Mary Jane. Because I feel like I will need it. Um. Hmm. Or should I not cure Mary Jane and get sleep? Let's do that. Let's do that. Because sleep helps everyone. Your sickness is only affecting you, Mary Jane. First aid kit was well stocked with a variety of medical supplies, including a pack of sleeping pills. We never thought we would use them, but in these conditions, it's the right thing to do. Also, it was a nice change from our usual diet of tomato soup. Okay, so they're all well rested. Realistically, a good night's rest is probably better than whatever the first aid could do. Should we eat them? No, you should not eat them. Ted eats the mushrooms. The rest of the family is too smart for that. Uh, 
And no, there are no drugs you can give Mary Jane, unfortunately. Did the reddit to the static just slip up, 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 uh, No. Okay, okay, um... You're still sick. You're still okay. Yesterday during charades we learned that Mary Jane doesn't know how to spell anti dis establishment air bruh anti establishment arianism yes i always mess it up the first time and this time the second time too uh yes let's she can make a med kit i think and if she can make a med kit she can use a med kit because i'm generous like that Ooh, she's looking real rough jeez Dolores does not mess around. Um, they built a gun? Jeez. You got some soup, you got some water, got some bug spray, good stuff. Okay, they're all starving. helping the twins. <laughs> I mean, I just, I just gave you guys food. I'm gonna send Timmy out. You're good, kiddo. Okay. No med kit. Who ate the soup? It was Ted. It's always Ted. He's always the one eating the soup in my games. Uh, Ted admitted to hiding the can. Good thing you didn't have the time to eat it all. Eat the soup. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I didn't realize this, but you actually have to guess who ate it. And if you find the right person, they actually give it back. So all the times in the past, I accused Ted and it wasn't him. So, wow. There you go. No, uh, I don't want to be saved. I want a mutant daughter, but she's just sick. Don't mutinize. Um, during one of her insane, in what? During one of its insane episodes around three o'clock last night, Sherikov ran face first into the wall, causing a loose brick to fall out. Behind it was a scar box with some ammunition inside. Thanks, whoever left it there. Awesome. Okay, what do we need? Uh, starvation. Okay, our supplies are scarce and our morale is low. You can almost smell the desperation in the shelter. Are you sure there's a small group of survivors nearby? Um, I've never done it, so let's try it. I'm gonna steal from old people. <laughs> yeah, and there's the infamous we killed someone sign. We went, we got what we needed, and we came back. We're pretty sure that group will do just fine. Most probably. Yeah, absolutely. So we got a health we got a health kit. So I would have preferred food. Okay. 
Here, Mary Jane. Uh, Mary Jane, Ted, and Mary Jane have been butting heads lately. Today, they got into an argument about movie characters, spe uh, specifically who would win in an ultimate battle: Peter Pan or an army of mutated cockroaches. It's a tricky one for sure, and the debate is heated. Who will come out on top? Once again, I wish I knew who had said which, because clearly the army of mutated cockroaches. But because Ted, you're a liar. And you actually eat the food. I'm gonna go with Mary Jane on this one. <coughs> that not. Oh, okay. He's cured. Good stuff. Uh, Mary Jane objectively won the debate with the sheer volume of her voice. A few hours into the shouting, Ted was begging her to stop complaining about a nauseating headache. Um. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, everyone's good. Good, you're good, you're good. Awesome. No, oh god, someone's gonna go crazy. I have nothing for people to keep busy with. Uh, and it's two of them. We got two crazies. Awesome. Dolores no longer talks with us. Dol Earth to Dolores, can you hear us? Gordon can really get to you in the shelter. It can lead to you to dark places. Trust us. Dead has gone crazy today. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. That's what you like to see. Mm -hmm. uh, we were sure we'd look through our supplies carefully, but Mary Jane spotted something we all missed. A seed. A plant seed. Should we plant to see what happens? Yes. Okay, use some water. Awesome. Dolores still isn't in full control of her mind. We're not sure what monsters are inhabiting it, but we wish they would just go away. Okay, so... Yeah, need that food. What? You maniacs! You blew it up! Ah, oh, damn you! Damn you all to hell! That's something we should have told our neighbors when they blew up their barbecue last spring. Those are good times, even if they wasted a perfectly good barbecue. That was a weird prompt out of nowhere. <laughs> like, completely out of left field. Imagine you come to the shelter and this is what you see. It's just like, ooh, never mind. Ah. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Well, that's not great. Uh, using a high tech setup involving paper cups and yard string, the agent rang in with our next top secret mission that will surely land us in the VIP bunker very soon. Uh, yeah, I'll send Mary Jane. She's not crazy. <laughs> Hopefully she'll come back. Or else this is gonna be real messy. Uh, we graciously agreed to fulfill a request. They thanked us for doing our civic duty and promised to be back with more information soon. Uh, okay, okay. During our latest expedition, we ran into Smelly Man in torn up clothes. We recognized him as an old bum named Jim who used to roam the streets of our town before the bombs fell. He now roams the wasteland. It looks like he followed us home. He's banging on the door asking if we want to buy a rock. Well, do we? No thanks, Jim. Oh man, the rock could have been a friend that would not make them be less crazy. I'm a fool. Uh, we really need to be careful with door-to-door -door salesmen. Way too often they try and sell you junk like that. We like to think we're, we make informed, reasonable purchases. Like this apron with the American flag on it we got just before the blast. It was a real bargain! The old man didn't sell aprons, so obviously we told him to go away. Mm hmm Yeah, they're crazy. They're crazy. Wish you could just leave. Sitting down here with barely anything to do is driving us crazy. Driving you crazy.
I don't like how Mary Jane's been gone. I'm expecting her not to come back, and then I'm expecting <laughs> this to be a real messy ending. That trash can of ours is getting disgusting. The good news is we don't have much of an appetite when we see it, so we're saving some food. Yet for some reason, we'd like to tidy this mess. It's giant green. Um, um, um. Let's try using that. Oh, she is not looking great. We dodged a bullet this time, that is, if the bullet was a giant hairy. Ah, ah. Why wasn't she in the bunker for that? The recon mission was risky business. We had to visit neighbors that were dicey even the best of times. The area was full of mutated cats and dogs fighting each other in gangs, all of them armed to the teeth. We barely made it out of there alive. The agents seem to appreciate our efforts. Let's hope these missions are actually worth it. Our bucket uh, is just about due for an upgrade. We're expecting the government shelter to have an excellent bathroom, maybe even a hot tub. Well, no food, so that's not great. That's really not good. I mean, I'm just in crazies out. Good luck having crazies come back. starving oh lord okay Ted no, Ted's crazy why am I even thinking about giving Ted something Jane's been caught sneaking out on the cover of night. Dolores is furious with me. Mary Jane she was feeling to go on a date with someone. A bandit boy. Um as for a chance to contact a date. No. Every time I did that she got injured. I mean she's already injured, but Oh dear. Okay. Gotta deal with that. The girl's got a big argument over who what uh, who might be appropriate for Mary Jane, but unfortunately for the latter. Rebellious bandit boys with leather jackets and unruly, unwashed hair are not on that list. Dolores and Mary Jane are not speaking right now, which is a definite improvement over the shouting match that took place earlier. I mean, I got water for you, but that's... That's about it. Carnivorous plant. Cut it up. I think I can get some food from that. Yes. Yes. Okay, die you plant thing, die. Is this sharp enough for you? Chop, chop. Phew, that was a close one. Without this axe, we would have been plant food. Or would that make us fertilizer? Well, the joke is on that damn plant since we ended up harvesting some of it for our food. Uh, Dolores is clearly giving into the madness so she could stop it. Jane is starving. Okay, so if I didn't have that plant, that would have been a wraps. And she's in agony, so. Oh dear. This is. This is not going well. Clearly, we were trustworthy after our last successful mission as the agents came back with another request. We are, we are to generously provide either a couple of sands of soup cans or some water bottles for agents in the field. They'll take care of the delivery. In return, we'll be given encouragement, pat on the back, and promise of a better future. Okay, so I need a buttload of water. It's not looking great. Got someone crazy, and I got someone in agony. 
Okay. I don't know what this does, but I don't have anything that we can shower with. <laughs> Dirty or not, it's the smell that's the biggest issue here. How do we deal with that? Well, we got some spare ammo. Why not use it, the gunpowder to kill the smell? Let's rub it in. Sounds like a brilliant idea. Oh, jeez. Deranged. Ooh, I've never seen deranged. That's, uh, that's scary. I can't afford- I'm sorry, dude. I'd love to be protected, but I don't think Ted's coming back. I think, uh, yeah, and she's gone. And she's gone. It took us a bit long to realize who or what we were looking at, but we finally managed to shut the door. It's good that we didn't shake his hand, and let's hope that this disease is not airborne. We could have swore we heard him cough. The peace and quiet of her shelter was disturbed today when Dolores suddenly jumped out of her seat and started cursing at the radio. We begged her to sit down and relax. The radio wasn't even on, but she kept saying she could hear voices coming out of the speakers. Clearly, they belong to someone really impolite. Because Dolores showered... What? Dolores showered the box with the most creative set of insults and occasional screams like, You won't get my cans! Or, How dare you speak this way of my mother! Dolores has won the argument by smashing the ill-mannered radio on the floor. Only then can she calmly went back to her seat with a triumphant look on her face. The whole thing was quite disturbing. But if we really want to avoid her wrath, it's probably best to never mention it to Dolores again. Okay, yeah, he is gone. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's... That's pretty much a wrap for us, I think. I mean, I'll... Yeah, let's do it. It can't get any worse, so... This <laughs> won't just murder a bunch of people. Oh, cool, okay. That might be enough. Okay, we're not gonna go. We're gonna change the plans. Because going is a big risk when you're by yourself. Got the lock, so that works. Okay. We're giving him the water. I can fight off a bandit attack. That's about it. Otherwise, we're just waiting game, hoping that these agents come back. And before we, like, go completely insane. Can't do any sort of trick. I gotta wait for these agents. If they have another mission for me, that's the only time I can leave. Yeah, just waiting it out. Someone's at the door. We're a bit scared. Um. Yes. There we go. We made it. Just barely. Just barely. <laughs> Just literally crazy cat lady. You got crazy Dolores and Cherico. We are taken out of our home in the dark of the night and hastily transported to what the agents called a presidential bunker. It's amazing. Sure, the walls are a similar shade of gray, but now we have a whopping 20 square feet more to walk around while we die of boredom. The extra bucket and newspaper supply is nothing to sneeze at either. Uh, all in all, it's definitely an upgrade. Life here will surely be worth all the trouble we went through. Finally, we can sit, relax, and let somebody else empty the bucket for a change. Cool. VIP Paradise. Aw, 
Awesome. Let's get to the end here. Yeah. He survived. Maybe. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Well, uh, we survived. Maybe. We, we, we beat the game and that's all that matters. <laughs> Uh, I've been Zengoku Jedi. Thank you for joining me in this episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. Uh, if you like anything we do here at An Unkindness of Idiots, please subscribe and check out some of our, our, our uh, other videos. Uh, see if you find something you like. Uh, but anyways, thank you for tuning in and I will see you next time. Bye.